Hey, what's up everyone? Blue Collar Pointers back with another video. We are just getting started with the video, so please be patient with me as I am learning how to edit and put forth some quality content. Um, however, we've got Chase, we've got Cammie, we've got, we've got Chevelle out on the five acres here in Ohio. We were blessed with the five acres, which is plenty of space for the dogs to run and burn some energy off. Today is a beautiful day. We have a lot of projects planned around the house. I would prefer to go out. I'm sure the whole family would prefer to go out and have a fun day, go to the lake, uh, do something fun. I'm sure the dogs would love to get in on that as well. However, we've got to put some work in around the house. It's been raining a lot, so there are some things we've had to put off until some better days to get outside and get done. So, so I wanted to talk to y'all about German short-haired pointers and wanted to explain why we decided to go with that breed. First off, I had to look at my family and what it is that, you know, what are the activities that we enjoy and which of those activities or how many of those activities would the dog play a part in? And so looking at my family, you know, we enjoy being in the outdoors. We be, enjoy being outside. When the weather's good, we wanna be outside. Whether that's hiking, we found some trails in the, in the local area that we can go and do some hiking. There's some lakes nearby. We enjoyed going down there. We got a John boat this year where we can beach it, you know, do a little bit of a grilling, a cookout. We have five acres that we're constantly doing updates to and trying to improve our property. And I'm also getting back into hunting. You know, last year was my first season in, in duck hunting. Uh, never done waterfowl before. So that was, that was a first for me, thoroughly enjoyed it. I've known I wanted to get into it for some time now. So again, you know, going back to making this decision, I'm like, I want to get a dog that fits right in with my family. Like. Um, a dog that will do everything that I'm doing can be a part of it, you know? As I started researching the brands, or breeds, I'm sorry, I've always loved the look of a German short-haired pointer. I've known a few people. I have some family that have German short-haired pointers. I've seen them on their social media, and I've always really, really liked the look of the liver roan with the tick and the patches. I also like the white. We got, you know, Chase, he's the white patch, and he's got a little bit of ticking, but primarily white. And, and liver patch. Love the look of these dogs, just beautiful dogs. I love their athletic build. There's nothing that I don't like about the way the German short haired pointer looks. Looked into some other breeds um, at first, cause I'm like, you know, I want an active dog. I want a dog that wants to go out and do things. I want a dog that's gonna be great with my family. So I started doing my research, right? Looked at Boykin Spaniels, looked at uh, Labs, obviously. Also looked at Nova Scotia duck, duck tolling retrievers. But again, just didn't seem to be a fit, didn't seem to work out. So I actually started praying about it. And I was like, you know, asking God, I was like, you know, lead me in the right direction that I'm supposed to go. <laughs> it was shortly thereafter that I found Chase. And I, you know, I started researching the breed. I reached out to the, the people that owned Chase at the time or had Chase and he was for sale. I fell in love with the dog the first time I seen him. Just, I watched him come out of his little crate, come up to me and, there was another dog there as well that was for sale, one of one of Chase's siblings, and he just had, he didn't want nothing to do with me. Um, in fact, he was like, I'm okay with you, don't ever touch me kind of attitude. Chase was like, no, nah, I love people, I already love you, take me home. You know, I love the way he looked. Um, I could tell he had a good build, he was a stout looking dog, he had really big paws, um, which I liked. Um, so I didn't, I didn't have a reason not to go along with it. So I went ahead and got Chase. Shortly thereafter, I got Chevelle and Cammy and was, I was able to actually get them on Christmas for my family. So that was our first Christmas with them. They were just little puppies. We got some great pictures um, on our social media of them and during that Christmas, it was a great time. Kids were pumped. The reason I went with German short-haired pointers, they fit my family. We go hiking with them, they get on the boat, we can get in the water with them. They love to swim, they love to hunt. These dogs, it's in their blood. Never have I seen a dog so driven to with prey drive and that's what they call it it's prey drive um, when they are out there they're pointing things constantly we go on walks around our property and they're constantly pointing stuff we're planning on being outside a lot this summer planning on spending a lot of time in the outdoors and we're planning on having our dogs right there with us later this season with the exception of whitetail hunting because i can't take these dogs on a whitetail hunt all the waterfowl all the upland uh, bird hunting i plan on taking my dogs with me 
Chase is ready to go. He's been to the trainer. I've worked with him. I've worked with all three of these dogs. I feel like Chase is ready to start taking out this season and actually doing some hunts with him. The females, I plan on finishing off their training this season. So we're looking for a good year. But again, just wanted to kind of let you know why we decided to go with this breed. These dogs are loyal. They're a great family dog. They're very protective. If the Amazon driver comes in to drop off a package, we're going to know about it. If these got dogs are outside and they see someone they don't recognize, they're going to bark they're going to let you know. Now, as soon as you say, hey, hey, that's enough, and the guy's like, oh, what's going on, puppy? Then they just melt, and then they become the biggest lap dogs ever. But they will let you know, you know, and I don't want an aggressive dog that's gonna attack somebody and have to worry about hurting somebody. They're definitely not that. They're protective. The other great thing is I've had these dogs since they were like eight weeks old. They're amazing with my kids. I have two kids that are growing up with these dogs. There's been some learning there. They don't nip at my kids. They don't bite my kids. They don't hurt my kids. They play with my kids and sometimes they don't realize that they're much bigger and much stronger than my kids and so they'll knock them over. And even then, they, it's non-intentional, it's not their fault. If anything, it's just my kids need to learn how to set boundaries for the dogs and the dogs listen to my kids. My, t my kids say, hey, Chase, Cammy, Chevelle, sit, they sit. If they tell them to stop, depending on if they have food or not, uh, <laughs> they usually listen. So we're still working on that. I mean, they're still pups themselves. I still call them pups. They're part of our Lockwood family. We love our dogs and we're really looking forward to this year to seeing what kind of, uh, what kind of fun we can get into with our dogs. Thank so. you everyone. Please like us on social media, follow us, subscribe to us, like our videos. We're going to try to put some quality content in the future and keep you guys updated as we're learning and going through this process and just kind of take you along on that journey with us. So. Appreciate y'all.